few months ago, Henry and I decided that we wanted to adopt a bulldog and um, we've been, we signed up with the Bulldog Rescue Organization here in England and we've been avidly watching the dogs coming up for adoption and we were waiting till we came back from our honeymoon to apply. And here we are, we've come onto the page, so we're going to scroll down and look for the one that we are after and here he is little freddy let's open up his page so we can have a look oh look at that little cuteness so we're gonna go ahead and apply for him which i'm not entirely sure oh there we go i gotta click this little button over here so we are about to leave uh, to go pick up our little fur baby and um, this is all the stuff that we got for him. Um, as soon as we found out actually that we, um, we were going to get him, we went straight to the pet store and we were there for about three hours <laughs> trying to choose, you know, all of his things. And it's kind of ironic because Henry and I are not very fashionable or very coordinated and somehow everything we've chosen kind of matches so yeah this is all of his wall this is his little room so i'm about to pack his stuff and i'm just going to show you what i'm taking with so um it's been really hot here in the uk so i've got this uh cooling pad which i've had in the fridge for a couple of hours so it's really cool um it won't be this cold by the time we get there but at least it'll still be really chilly um, if he needs it and he can sit on that and then I found this which I thought was really cool basically this is a um, ice bandana and then you just put it around their little necks um, when it's hot to cool them down that's also been in the fridge so yeah and I've got a big bottle of cold water um, we have Henry and I will have normal temperature water as well but this one's been in the fridge you can see all the condensation on it and then I have this little collapsible bowl um, this I didn't buy for him actually, I bought this in the States but I thought it would be perfect because it, um, it opens up quite big so you can drink out of that. And then um, just a little rope toy to chew in the car if he, um, if he gets bored. Then we've got some lemon water and, um, well not lemon water sorry, some lemon juice and his foster mom told us that if he overheats and he starts to get all fatty in the mouth we squirt this in and it'll break up all the foam so definitely got some of that um this kind of goes without saying this is henry's department as he is now chief poop picker upper um we got a lead for him we got a harness i'm not sure if he's gonna like this harness or if he likes wearing a harness but this one seems pretty cool it's really soft on the inside um so we wanted something super comfy for him so, but if he doesn't like it, he doesn't have to wear it. And then his little um, car seat here, which obviously will attach to his collar or his harness, and um, has all the different car seat attachments. We don't have a Merc or a Volvo, so we'll just use the, the normal one. And then I'm not sure if he's gonna want some treats, but we got him some cute little broccoli, yeah, broccoli treats. Not sure if eating in the car is the way forward, but anyway, so we got that. I hope I have everything. I keep racking my brain trying to think if there's anything else that he needs. Um, it's gonna be kind of late by the time we get home, but hopefully there'll be still some light so that he can explore his new home and his new bedroom and get used to us. And oh my gosh, we've waited so long for this little chunky monkey, so we can't wait to see him.
He's not pulling too much. No, he's not pulling at all. But if you try to go faster, he speeds up. <laughs> but look, if I stop, he stops. Wow, he's very good. That's awesome. So glad we got this long lead for him. I'm 